Okay guys, welcome to High Flyers Memories of Summer. We're here, don't worry. So, obviously, for memories of summer, we need to be reminded of the things we did this summer. So I'm wearing full Greggs. Including sausage roll socks and the full Greg's wear. Full Greg's. One second. Just so that everyone can fully appreciate. Alexa, turn on the garage light. We are sporting full grass. I'm so warm in that warm up. You do not understand how warm it was wearing two lots of things. But also, just for anyone who didn't see, I was also wearing the Zan Can't Con 2. Or oh, Zan Couldn't Con, the Couldn't Thing. T shirt as well. Without further ado, I don't want to cool down too much. Um, so yeah, Xenius have been running a uh, summer contest. It finished yesterday. Um, I didn't enter, but what I have done is I have chartered for all except one week. Which is week seven. I haven't done week seven. So week one, we'll just get going. Week one was watch your pace, where the chart has to be front loaded in the number of steps. So for week one, we have Beef by Bamani Santi, which has a split of 328 steps in the beginning, 279 steps at the end. Let's go! This ending really helps. <laughs> That's fun, that's really good. Um, 
So another thing, I've not played a single one of these charts on, on pad. I've done them all in secret, I've never played them. And obviously I've not been able to play for the last six weeks anyway. So, week two. Week two was Pride Week. Be proud. Okay, week three. Week three will kill me. So, this was LGBT related, either the artist or sort of to be supportive. So, we have Kim Pedras. It's a nice cool down between the two. I love this song. I've, I've, I've put it on my live playlist to make everyone else listen to it. Nicely done. What I miss? Yeah, the rocket tops. song is the hardest song in here by a good way uh, it might be a 14 I don't know so week three was beyond Bamani you Sal or Camellia you are incorrect so this is a Bamani featured artist or an artist that has been featured in Bamani before with a song that has not featured in Bamani. Um, so, week two, week three, week four are all going in Tech Romantic. Uh, so, Hard to Break is going in. Week three and week four are also in. It is not Anal Spider, it is 
And what you will notice there is that it's BR plus. Here comes. I streamed the stream pretty well. Oh, okay. We have a nice break. <clears throat> oh, coming up. Some nice easy stuff. <coughs> so we four. 2D is better. So this is songs by Vocaloid or anime or VTubers. That was the third one. Well, Keith, get ready to riot. It is not Deco 27. I've not taught a Deco 27 in a while. It's not Vocaloid. It's not VTube. It's anime. So I've done 1,000 and 2,000, it's time for the love revolution.
yeah, it was a nice chill one. Nice and easy. And that goes into Tech Romantic 2 to follow in 1000 and 2000% in the Margie Love series. I may chart a VTuber at some point. But yeah, so like, there is a big range of difficulties in this pack. That's probably the easiest. Okay, so week five was the Simphile Buffet. So, it's not food related. The Simphile Buffet was a whole myriad of different charting or song selection restrictions, and you had to pick three. So, if I tell you what, what I did, you can try and guess. It's a DDR rechart, lower than 100 BPM, with shock arrows. It's not back. It is. <laughs> uh, I wish I thought about my club team, that would be cool. No, it's actually. Bracket, burst, foot switch, my uh, middle step. We're so close to hitting under 130 as well. The song's so good. Kerfa, how is it going? Hope everyone is doing well today. We are on song five of 12. So this pack itself is going to release across Tech Trails 3, Tech Romantic 2. Um, and I'll just show, since it just came in, what I've already shown off so far. Um, so I have shown Beef by Blimey Sound Team from Qbeat, Festo. I have shown Heart to Break by Kim Petrus for LGBT week. I have shown Still In My Heart by Psyche featuring Puni Puni Denki, which was horrible. <laughs> it's 
good job, but it's really nasty to play. I have shown off Margie Love Revolutions for the Anime Week. And I have shown off Gourmet for Buffet. So, week six. Oh, what was week six? Ah, oh, week six was I Love Video Games. Kirby, you've already seen this one. So this is a song from Video Games, which was done the same week that Democracy was doing also. They love video games. Um, I don't think anyone's going to get this, but this is probably the closest to a chart made in a Xenius thing, because I was actually considering submitting, submitting this week. Um, so the video game is Killer Instinct. I don't think anyone's going to get it from there. Um, the song is Touch Me and I'll Break Your Face. Also known as the Kole theme in Genshin Impact. Okay, Kerpa. Have a good day at work. So, week seven. Yeah, I, I really like those mines. Because if you touch them, they, they will break your face. And your legs and like the rest of you. We are on week eight. Week seven was a collab week, and that seemed like a lot of effort to find someone to collab with, particularly when everyone was busy with democracy and with this. Um, so I just decided to have that as a skip week. So why there are 12 files and not 13. So week eight was New Decade. So this was a song that was released in 2020 onwards. That would have been funny. Um, well, I, I, I could, I could um, collab with uh, Spooky Chat and Team Kikoya, I suppose. Okay, so, a song that was released in 2020 or onwards. Again, pretty wide scope. Um, I will tell you that the song that I picked is something that's re released pretty recently. And it is so cool, 
so fun. It's about damn time. Bitch, I might be better. Anyway. It's about damn time and a chart came out for that. Yeah, I, I, I had fun chatting on. Okay, so week nine. That was week nine. Week nine. You won't see this in DDR7. I. Um. My graphics are um, variable depending on what mood I'm in and whether I have ideas or not. Um, but if I ha if I'm trying to mimic Kikoya in P BMX, my chart, my uh, my artwork needs to be a lot better. So you got to have a a push for these sort of things um, and. Like, I'm really, really proud of my artwork for week three. Um, my week two one's not my best work, um, but my week three one is top notch. Absolutely love it. So Kikoya, if you if you release the same song that I'm releasing in week three and week two, I'm not gonna be very happy. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, I have a pretty standard graphical style. Uh, okay, so. Week nine, what I will say is that it could have gone in week six. Well, I would have been tempted to do Zombies by uh, Deco27 if you hadn't done it already. So, yeah, it's a, another video game song yeah, I've done for week nine. Um, I don't think anyone will get it. But I have mentioned that I'm charting it. So I've already told I've already told everyone what I'm actually doing. 
a video game song that would never be in DDR. I'll give you a minute. Unfortunately, it is not more simlish. It's funnier than that, I think. I did! I, I said, literally, that I was going to submit this into Zip. But I'd, I'd already said that I was doing it. Oh, you can't see the background, that's sad. I need, I need to uh, take off all of my, spe my stats and stuff. Because I actually, I've done background and stuff for all this. So that is Sea Shanty 2. Mm -hmm. A song that you won't see in DDR. Although with the way A3 is going, I doubt my decision. So Sea Shanty 1 is the original one in RuneScape. It got changed, I think, to Sea Shanty 2 quite early on in development. Um, okay, week 10. So week 10, like I was genuinely going to submit this. It's probably one of my better tech charts. One of the nicer ones, one of the ones that I think passes really well. It's one of the ones that, um, like, watching the Zip guys do tech um, made me sort of, I didn't want to get in to VIP week submitting one once in week 10. But, yeah, it could, it could literally be anything. I'll tell you it's in Korean Air. Um, yeah, and, like, it's possible, but it just, it just felt, like, against the spirit of the competition. So this is the chart that I would have submitted, um, and I actually made for Week 10, specifically for actual submission. 
Um, and I say it's it's a Korean air song. And look at that tech breakdown. by classy. Oh yeah, I'll um, what I'll do is I will um, put the, I'll, I'll send my uh, stats back. Shot so good. It utilizes so much tech. It, yeah, the side switches are really nice, like learning side switches. Um, it fakes out one of the side switches as well on the um, vocal line, a little bit different. So it goes. Duh, 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 duh. Um, duh, 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 duh. Duh, 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 and then goes into a normal crossover. Twinkles, hello. Welcome to the stream, sponsored by John Gregg. Okay. So, we VIP week one. We make the assumption, so we have three, three charts left. And this is where it starts getting tricky. Mm -hmm. You have seen the nine artists that I have used previously. We have Classy. We have Lizzo. We have Bamani Sound Team Symbol. Um, we have Akira Yamata. We have the Jagex Sound Team, so the RuneScape themes. We have Mick Gordon, so the uh, guy who does Doom. Killer Instinct, a lot of other Microsoft uh, IPs, music. Uh, who else do we have? <laughs> Starish, Psyche, Kim Petras. So, you're going for Psyche. 
Hikayo is saying that she will kill me if I've gone for uh, RuneScape. Um, Steph has gone for Jagex as well. Um, I can tell you that no one's got it right so far. Um, it is, in fact, Akira Yamauta. Akira Yamauta. Look at that stream breakdown. <laughs> This is Stamtech at 106 BPM. This is also going in Tecromantic. Tecromantic 2, this will be releasing. Okay. Week 2. VIP Week 2. And the theme. Alright, so week two, I've kind of spoiled, I've already said. Well, I've already shown the chart. Yeah, um, so I remember I said on your on one of your streams that I didn't think VIP 2 would be been charted particularly well because people were under charting rather than picking songs that went with the theme. Um, and I'd already, I've already posted this up because I said this is what I would have put for VIP 2. Also, I love this banner. This banner's great. Take him away. to hear for the last song because I want them here.
But yeah, um, I had that rate as 15. Uh, 15 at 450 steps, which was bang on. The old restriction before they widened them. Okay. And so it comes to the final week. Also, Dai, if you missed. That was um, that was week three. And it has 112 brackets. And the only reason it says it's got 112 brackets is because it's got bracket switches which don't count. Really? Okay, so. VIP week three, showdown, unforgettable experience. Now Ben, Bipu, the guys who were at Zan couldn't come. I believe that we had an unforgettable experience together. A truly unforgettable experience over those couple of days. And so, I had to chart something that fit that week. But first, Ben, you've reminded me. Before I do that, I do actually have something else to do. Which is in my secret files, which is the theme from Crystal Maze. So I chatted up this morning. Um, I thought this would be a nice addition to the round. And also I was hoping that Ben would guess that this was week three. Um, but no, the far more experience based chart that has made it into week three. It is 12. It is a level 12, and it is. And I'm on the fence whether this is a 12 or 13.
and that is ladies and gentlemen high flyers memories of summer oh, I hope we all had fun with that reveal as much fun as I had charming it played it all in Greg's yeah I, I I think it's an easy 13, but I think the runs, because of the crossovers, are harder than selling my heart. All Gregs. 100% Greg. Oh, okay. So, that is High Flyers Summer Memories. I would love to, but Greg's closed today because it's Bank Holiday Monday for the Queen. So, just to summarise, High Flyers Memories of Summer for What's Your Pace was Beef from Ye Beat Festo. Week 2 for LGBT was Heart to Break by Kim Petras. For week three, it was still in my heart by Psyche featuring Quinny Quinny Denki. For week four, anime Vocaloid VTubers, it was Marty Love Revolution. For Simphile Buffet, we recharted your reign from DDR Extreme 2. For I Love Video Games, we did Touch Me. And I'll break your face from Killer Instinct. We skipped week seven and went straight into week eight. It's a new decade and it's about damn time. Oh no, who is that? I have recorded this. Um, so I will upload the entire thing. Um, so that it won't get a uh, bit uh, muted. For week nine, we did Sea Shanty 2 from RuneScape. For week 10, we did Classy by Class Colon Y. Oh wow. For duplication system, we went back to week five and we picked Akira Yamaoka, it's Inside Your Heart, also from the Average View 2. For Small But Deadly, we took Pikachu away, and we did Take Me Away by Natsumi. Take Me Away by Natsumi, um, coincidentally, is a copyright-free song from uh, NCS. And for week three, we finished this unforgettable experience by doing it doggy style, with Dogs in the House by Cam Buster. Doggy style. Ah, oh, man. Believe me, I laughed a lot when I was um, charting that for week 12, week 13. 